probably heard the word mid-century or the phrase mid-century modern a few times. That's a movement that kind of started post-World War II. Um, it originated in Scandinavian countries, but soon found like a really good home in California as well. So there's a balance between a lot of Danish architecture and furniture and then uh, stuff that comes from the state. So you've probably heard the names Charles and Ray Eames before. I actually have one of their books here. It just has tons of pictures of their work and chairs again. <laughs> Mid-century modern, um, it's usually a wooden furniture with very clean lines um, and maybe interesting angles. So you'll see with uh, the desk and the lamp there that they have um, pretty clean lines. Uh, tapered legs are really popular and they're not so hard if you love the look and you want to try making, maybe making your own coffee table. Um, you can find tapered legs on probably eBay or Amazon. Um, and just attach them yourselves. It's not that complicated. The chair is not uh, old, but I think that it suits the style perfectly. I really like the, again, kind of tapered legs, black, clean lines. I find that you can definitely accomplish the mid-century modern look without having to go overboard and buy everything that's um, maybe original or older. Uh, because A, that's really expensive, and B, it might start to look like a little too much, especially in a smaller space where your furniture is closer together. Um, it's good to have a balance between more uh, statement pieces like my desk here and then uh, chairs or other furniture to go with it that um, is kind of uh, more neutral and non-offensive. So the desk is very old, um, but the chair here I bought from Article. Um, and I think it's great to be able to mix the old with the new. 